Hey, welcome back to the EdTech Throwdown. If you're a teacher who wants to podcast with your students and they're using Chromebooks, today's tool is going to help you out immensely. This is an Audacity replacement since they don't work on Chromebooks. Check it out. All right, so today what we're doing is we're trying to find an equivalent to Audacity to allow our students to podcast on Chromebooks. All right, Audacity, you could use it on iPads, you could use it on Macs and PCs. However, there wasn't a form of Audacity that is compatible with Chromebooks. So today I introduce to you Wavacity, W-A-V-A-C-I-T-Y dot com. Right. Wavacity is awesome. It looks exactly like Audacity. Well, maybe a couple of previous versions of Audacity. There's been a lot of updates with Audacity lately, but it looks very much the same. All right. Everything up here looks like Audacity. It speaks in looks like audacity all right so there's a file in here and you could tell that you know we have two different sub ranges here we have a moderately loud and then when we have a real loud piece right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play a little piece for you so you can see the softer and the louder part of this audio clip <laughs> All right, and as you can see, we were spiking out a lot there. So we need to improve that. I'm going to show you what I call our secret sauce. We do a lot more for our personal podcast, the EdTech Throwdown, than what we teach our students so they're not editing over five class periods. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is select any point on the timeline. Hit Control-A. That's going to select all the audio. All right, our goal is to get all this to be uniform without, uh, or by eliminating these spikes, bringing the peaks down and the quieter spots up. All right, so what we do, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to compress this. So go to Effect, go to Compressor. And when you look at the compressor, what we're trying to do here is reduce those uh, the dynamic range of your audio by bringing the top stuff down. All right, so take a look here. You want to have a threshold between negative 12 and negative 14 dBs. Uh, we're going to mark our floor at uh, 40, negative 40 dBs. We're going to have the ratio at 2 to 1, anywhere from 2 to 1 to 5 to 1. So I'm just going to put it at 3.4 to 1. There we go. All right. And we want to compress based uh, on peaks here. And then we're going to hit OK. And you, if you take a look at the uh, wave form, um, up here you'll see some changes all right so it brought the peaks down um, and kind of let this alone over here but it looks it's starting to look a little bit more uniform our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to limit um, our audio here so here's the limiter uh, so the compressor effect is used to compress the louder uh, passages of the recording. The limiter focuses more on boosting the quieter. So now we're doing the opposite here. So what we want to do here is we want to make this a hard limit. Okay. And we want to set the gain at four. All right. We're going to set this at four. We're going to set this at four. Great. All right. And our next thing is to change the limit to negative 4.5. I, uh, I like to go a little bit more than that, so I'm going to go to 6 here. All right, so we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it's looking kind of uniform, but now it's probably sounding a little robotic because everything's there. we got to do something called normalize. All right, so we're going to go to effects once again. We're going to go to normalize. All right, so for normalize, we're just trying to make it sound less robotic here. We're trying to give those more exciting parts their room for growth, their, their, their moment. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck this first box. And then this next one, we're going to make sure the normal peak uh, amplitude is 1 dB. And we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it brings it up. Uh, so we had it at 1 here for our peak. 
if this isn't going to work for you, if you feel like this is spiking out the audio, you could change that peak and change the number to a, a, a negative four instead of a negative one there. So here we go. And as you can see, we never, we did get into the red there, but we never spiked out. It never got to above that zero because we limited that to negative one. I think it sounds fine. Here's the louder part. As you can see, once again, we got close to that zero, but we, since we set that limit there, you can see it at the top here. Since we set that limit, you'll never get that blown speaker effect there. Now, some people like to keep that lower to minus four. Like I said, to do that, you would just go into effects and um, chop down that, that limit at the top to negative four, and that will bring it down a little bit. But hopefully, uh, you know, this is something that you're excited to use. It's super easy to use as far as editing. So if we wanted to get rid of this whole first part, we would just click on it, drag, hit backspace, and it's gone. Same thing back here. Um, we can chop the end. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to play around with this, um, but it's very, very simple to use. You can look at any Audacity tutorial and uh, it will show you how to edit. But the very simple parts of this is just highlighting whatever you want to delete and deleting it out of there. And it will naturally go down and push it together. All right, so hopefully this made a lot of sense. Hopefully this is a viable option for you in podcasting in your class. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.